Hi friends, welcome back to Dirk and Be Playing Devil Summoner Soul Hackers. So before I get started, obviously I'm on the load screen here, and you might wonder why. And the reason that I wanted to show you this first is because what this is is this is digest mode, in case you don't know, or and even and if you do know about it, I'd like to comment on it. It's interesting. It's basically you get to replay the important story bits. It's not just cutscenes and stuff like other games do. You get to, you know, like this is the intro, right? And then it's also the first few minutes of gameplay after that. That's like just the visual novel section where you talk with the girl. I forget her name right now. I won't remember names until I played a good bit of the game. That's usually how it works for me. How many of you have trouble remembering names in games? Let me know in the comments, because I, uh, I'd like to know I'm not alone in that. I know I'm not, but it's cool to hear it from more people, basically. It's interesting how they have this technologically advanced city um, already, but they are they're releasing basically a virtual second city, which I find really interesting in the form of Paradigm X. Begin game! Another thing I feel like I need to what mention is... Do? This is the 3DS version of the game that I'm playing, using Citra, you know, the 3DS emulator to play this. However, you might notice that I don't have this second screen on. That was actually a mistake at first. I made sure that it was just one screen in order to just record both of the um, opening uh, videos to have them in my video, my first episode, and just have the video instead of a random bottom screen that is not the video taking up screen space. But then I forgot. I forgot to re-enable the second screen. But the reason I forgot is because there was no indication whatsoever that the second screen had anything I needed while I was rec recording the first episode. But yeah, um, I've realized that the second screen is just cheats, apparently. It's just little things they call hacks that allow you to do stuff, like actually decrease the difficulty and stuff and use the map. And I would like to not utilize any of that if I don't have to, but if I really feel like, oh my god, holy shit, at the game's difficulty or what have you, then I may, but I won't show that in my playthrough. I don't think there's a reason to. I'd rather keep the top screen the whole experience because the bottom screen is going to be mostly not a thing from what I understand. It's just like a bunch of cheats that are sitting there that I don't even think I have access to yet because when I tried to to show the bottom screen on Citra after recording the first episode like whoops I forgot about the bottom screen entirely it was just you know a, a design on it there there wasn't anything there yet so I imagine when you're actually in gameplay because we haven't gotten there yet because you know this is an atlas game so there was a long intro with every atlas game I, I always expect especially with factoring in my rambling that the first episode ain't gonna have gameplay in it usually more or less that was absolutely 100 percent the case this time <laughs> Uh, but regardless, uh, as far as I know, bottom screen isn't anything really important. I may utilize some of the stuff in that, but I will try not to. And otherwise, uh, let's play the damn video game. What do you think about those gun-type PCs, Hitomi? Hmm. Well, I like that. It's not working. Is it broken? Well, we don't have anything else to do. Oh, I know! Let's check out Paradigm X! You just got the license, so let's see what the big Oh boy. Is. That'll pass the time until lunch and the others get here. Come on, let's oh do boy. it. Oh boy. It's interesting how they're treating like a whole like virtual city like just another video game that's coming out. And also this this has gotta be a huge plot point and probably us going in there will fuck shit up real good. It'll probably be what allows her to become Nemissa, from what I understand. All I know about Nemissa is that she possesses Hitomi, I think. Like, resides in Hitomi's body whenever she shows up. By the way, I really liked that voice acting. Where she was going, hmm, hmm. It really sounded like... I, I could just I could just picture her picking the thing up and looking at it and examining it closely. Like, that's good voice acting. When you don't even need the visual there to know, like, that they're doing something like that. Like, you could just tell by how she's voicing that, that she was looking at it really closely. Like, there was no explicit mention of that, but it was obvious that that's, that's amazing voice acting. Because Andrew Lee Morris is just fucking a god. She's Morgana, she is a character I really like in 13 Sentinels, freaking play 13 Sentinels. I will, do for, indeed, I will do 13 Sentinels content on the channel too. Basically, I want to play it again and get a bunch of notes together for all the lore, and do like a lore playthrough of the game. Because I've seen lore videos and discussion, but like... Just a playthrough that goes through all of the lore and pieces it together during a normal playthrough. 
I don't know if that's been done, and I want to do it regardless of even if it has been. That's what I want to do. It's basically give all the context of the lore in 13 Sentinels in Let's Play form. So that's going to take a lot of prep work, so I'm, I'll get to that when I can. Paradigm X! <laughs> kind of excited. I maybe could have saved, but all I did was talk to her, so I don't really mind. But I like saving after I've done anything, because I'm just very anal about it. Welcome to Paradigm X. This oh, thank is the you. user counter, your portal to accessing this virtual world. First time users will receive an explanation of Amami City's network. Please listen carefully. <laughs> if you need to know anything about the net, <laughs> just come to me. I am this world's defender of <laughs> justice, Captain Paradigm. Let me tell you about the network that connects the beloved citizens of Amami City to Paradigm X. Paradigm X is a virtual city located on the massive servers of the Algon Soft Corporation. The network that connects that server to your PCs is a citywide broadband intranet that runs throughout Amami City. Thanks to this network, you can enter Paradigm X freely from your home PC and meet with your friends online. With no lag and a nice 0% rate of packet loss, the intranet of Amami City makes Paradigm X truly another world. Now allow me to briefly describe my home of Paradigm X, the dream city that resides within this network. Anything you want can be found on Paradigm X's virtual streets. A movie theater, pet shops, anything. Through your PCs, you can access these cyber shops and use them at any time. The city of the future never closes. This is truly the life of the future. Brought to Amami City by Algonsoft. But enough from me. It's time for you to experience it for yourself. Now, have a good time. <laughs> Did you enjoy the explanation? It's now time for you to actually experience Paradigm X. You may be surprised by the intense quality of the virtual city. When you want to end your time in Paradigm X, please return here and have fun. Wow! So this is Paradigm X. It's wonderful. Hey! Where should we go first? This is such a 90s conception of technology. Because, <laughs> like, technology has really advanced since the point that this game came out. But, like, it's obvious that a person who lived in the 90s with 90s tech came up with this. Hmm, this is, so this is Paradigm X. I'm impressed how well it's put together. I thought it'd be a lot crappier. <laughs> Crap, is it already this late? I forgot leader summoned us. If, if it's late, Lynch is gonna yell. Yell at me. Oh, this is one of our people, because I remember some. I remember lunch from one of the trailers, the name. I guess that's another one of our people that just fucked off. God, this is so archaic, but in a good way. So, this is Paradigm X. It's made of beautiful classic buildings. Gives the whole place a nostalgic feeling. I'm really relaxed looking around this place. This is very useful information. <laughs> I'm glad I came to expect it. I, it's a, it's obviously kind of shoddily translated Japanese, but it's charming that way. It's not actually bad. It's just kind of confusing sometimes. Like, what do you really mean by useful information? For example? But you know, I, I'm cool with it at this point. I heard you can talk with a lot of different people in the forums. Also, I heard there's an art museum and a park where you can go on trips around the world from the theater. But I'm looking forward to the Haunted Mansion the most. I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. It really is interesting because it's like a, a normal city, but they're trying to do different stuff with it, like, than you could do in real life. Oh, hey, look! There's a road this way too, huh? It feels different here. Why don't we go? It's really interesting. But it's like they, they made a city here. Again, it's odd that you would do that. Have you been to Yumemi Yokocho? You, you mean me? You mean me? You mean me? I'm not sure how you're supposed to pronounce that. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing Yokocho right. Wait, I thought I turned auto advance off. Advance off. If you don't know what to do, you should go and ask him. 
I don't know if it was auto advancing or not there. If I accidentally pressed a button, I'm pretty sure it was auto advancing. I went to the VR art museum. It's full of pretty pictures. Plus, I heard that we'll actually be able to go on the painting soon. Into the painting soon. Oh, so you could go visit the. Oh, is that going to be part of the gameplay? Going into all those different places. I'm just going to talk to the people around here first. The social forum. That's where we can talk to all sorts of people. Apparently, have you heard of the Love Club? It's a VR relationship compatibility program. They told me that I was most compatible with some fancy old guy in a red cape. It's totally my type. I wonder if there's anybody like that actually in this city. Oh, hey, look! There's a theater! Let's go in. Captain Paradigm? Is that who it said she was compatible with? I want to see what it does if if I can go in there. I'm just having funsies at this point. Hell yeah. Boutique. I'll just go, basically, the closest, yeah, every place that I can go. Let me serve you. Everyone has the desire to transform himself. Here at this store, we present you with all the clothing you'd like to try out. If you find anything you like, please let me know and we'll deliver the real article to you. Oh, interesting. How may I serve you? Okay, so like you, you go into this virtual shop and you like shop for things that they send you in real life. That's so... Why would you do that? That's so convoluted. This is this is such a 90s conception of online shopping. Oh my god. Yeah, it's just like someone in the 90s is like, Dude, what if we had like virtual shopping? And we do now, but it's nothing like this. It, this is such a convoluted way to do it. <laughs> okay, we can't do anything but talk to her. But I like talking to her because I like women in suits a lot. Like, a lot. Like, holy shit, please give me more women in suits. And less cutesy women in these games. And I will be very happy about that. Sharply dressed woman is... yes. Oh, hi, hello. The beach forum, where every day is a vacation. What will you do? I do also like sexy clothing. Like, honestly, whatever the chick on the left is wearing. Yes. But like, for example, those kinds of tops that like show midriff. I, I mean, I like abs a lot, so of course I like that. But anyway, and also jeans. Yes. Jeans are yes. Anyway, now that I'm done talking about my fetishes for at least the next five seconds, I promise. Who will you talk to? I wonder if she's like important, because her portrait's very unique. What'd she say? Who will Cry you talk I, I, I thought it turned auto. Hmm. This forum's supposed to feel like you're at a beach resort, so it's not just about talking to people; it's about the environment as well. It's pretty neat. Who will you talk to? Nothing beats the real thing, but this place isn't that bad. God, he looks so douchey. It's probably like what someone would draw a poser as, so that makes sense. Hmm. So this is the beach forum. If it was an ugly place, I wouldn't come back, but I think I can live with this. Wow, that's really pretentious. Even more than the dude next to you. I have a feeling they're a couple. They seem to be douchey enough to be fucking together anyway hey fucking together hey i didn't even mean it that way at first anyway what will you do other farms where will you go okay her voice is a little bit grating already i don't usually get annoyed by voices in games but like what will you do where will you go that kind of fucking pisses me off a little bit that is rare for me to i don't even i don't even dislike fuka's voice in p3 for example, if, if you, you've played three, P3 enough to know what that means. No offense to the voice actress, I'm sure she's good at things. Just, she really, I don't know. It's, it's supposed to be the very, like, voice filled with a smile kind of a thing. But, like, the, the very high-pitched tone and also the, the way she enunciates you so much, it's just kind of like, ugh. Lady, please, say it differently. That's really oof. I don't know, it's weird. So there's a bathhouse, sunset, and then it just says social forum. Is that just the beach, or is it a different thing? Bathhouse forum. Welcome to the bathhouse forum, a place for heart-to-heart -heart chat. What will you do? Who will you talk to? Just as there are rules in public bathhouses, there are rules to the internet. It's conventions that help facilitate polite communication with each other are known as netiquette. <laughs> Whenever I play Paradigm X on the PC, my parents keep telling me I should be studying. That's not very convincing, coming from people who can't use a computer. It's digital age now. Man, that is really valid. 
I'm sure everyone who's ever played freaking video games in high school understands this, like me. Like, why? Like, hell, literally a, a very fundamental level. I just felt like, okay, I want to somehow make money doing what I love in front of this computer forever. I don't want to study. That's what I'm still trying to do. Oh, so this is one of those traditional Japanese baths. But why would they have one here? Ah, it must be a traditional place of communication and relaxation. It's interesting. There's nothing like this back in my country. Is that like their conception of tourists? That's fair, honestly, I guess. I'm sure some tourists don't like that, actually. Okay, yeah, I, the social forum is a different thing, but let's go to the sunset. I wonder why the generic Welcome social the forum is there, what it where looks you like. May return, to your lost youth. What will you do? return to lost youth? I imagine what she means by that is it's, you know, the whole idea, I guess in Japan, of like, it's after school, so it's, you know, it's early evening after school. You know, hills in the countryside, riding your bike, that kind of a vibe. I wish I was a bird, able to fly around wherever I wanted to. Oh, there's a dandelion here. How cute. Aw. Nobody can tell who I really am in here, so I'm gonna speak my mind. Having to act friendly to everyone in the real world is a pain in the ass. Wait, wait, is that actually not a little girl in real life? Okay, now I'm scared. If these people could just have avatars of whoever, that's a bit of... I might have a young avatar. Okay, yep. Confirmed, but actually pretty old. Of course, half the draw of Paradigm X is being able to become someone new. I like this experience. Yeah, video games are great for that. And other things. That's why I love them. There's so many reasons I love video games. I'm getting used to her voice now. I'm expecting it, so it's like, okay. It's gonna be weird, but it's there. I actually really like this this music. There's some PS1 music that's a little bit meh to me, but I really like this music generally. But Atlas has always had good composers. It's just like a, a thing. It's almost like it's one of their like general points of, okay, we gotta make sure that our music is good shit. And then you know, they just do it. It just is. This is a vibe. I would use this for writing or something or doing chores. Because I love listening to game music while I do stuff like that. It gives me fucking strumph. When I'm in here, men start talking to me just because I'm using a female avatar. <laughs> is it like that in the outside world, too? That's disturbing, isn't it? Yeah! Yeah, maybe you should try not doing that to women, people. Who will you talk to? Captain Perdon. Greetings, netizen! Have you gotten used to navigating Paradigm X? If you can't move smoothly, try using this the B button and the L and R buttons. But remember, you can't go through a door sideways or backwards. Farewell. Well, thank you for the video Who game tutorial. Hi, guy. Okay, he's got one eye. That's, that's. I was like, what? Why is he called Eye Guy? Now I get it. Oh uh, wait, what? Okay, I really don't like the auto scroll. I thought I turned that off. Man, I didn't think I'd win a beta license. I'm so lucky. You don't have to be lucky. You just need hacking skills. <laughs> Although if I said that, it'd probably just be instamand. Is Captain Paradigm real or is some avatar? Is that ever discussed? I'm assuming he's just like an AI thing. But he might be an employee. Is there any other forums? I think I've seen them all. By the way, I played enough SMT4 and 3 to, like, see the that this is definitely the vibe of SMT more than Persona. It was one of the original spin-offs before Persona... Actually, I'm not sure when Persona 1 and 2 came out, and I know they're more SMT-ish in general, but, like, I definitely am getting more of a, like, when I played SMT4 and 3 vibe here. This is closer to SMT and feel. Especially the way that you talk to people like this. All right. And playing these kinds of dungeon crawlery games is definitely a blast from the past for me. Okay, bank. Welcome to the new era of electronic currency. This is Paradigm Bank. What can I do for you? It's just an Irish dude here. Okay. Customers can leave their e-money with us at Paradigm Bank. The e-money you leave with us will gradually grow in value according to our set interest rates. You can deposit or withdraw your e-money Anytime you like. What can I do for you? Wait, was this before credit cards existed? Because that kind of sounds like less convenient than credit cards. <laughs> it's basically like debit, right? Was this before that? No. Right? No, right? I don't remember. I don't think so. I don't know. Thank you. Have a I feel like that's just the, an American putting on an Irish accent. I feel like it, but don't quote me on that. It doesn't sound quite natural to me, but that just might be my wrong observation. Uh -huh. Hee ho, a 
the casino. Wait a minute. Welcome to the Cyber Amusement Park's Casino Blizzard Inn. It's your first time here, isn't it? Let me just explain all the things you can do here then. You trade in money for coins, and you can use coins to play all kinds of exciting casino games. Which casino games, you ask? First, there's versus poker. You play five card draw poker against opponents. Believe in the heart of the cards. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Poker, which you play on your own. Play your cards right, and you get to talk about all the coins you won. Next up are the slots. You spin the reels and try to land a jackpot. Hee ho! We have two types of slot machines jack slot and king slot. Then there's the dice game. Use the power of frost magic to help you guess what the next roll's gonna be. Hee ho! So let's get started. Is what I would normally say, but did you just get your license recently? Hee ho! You aren't registered as a user yet. The system should recognize you as a registered user soon. So just hang tight and come back then. What do you want to do? There's just a woman in a Jack Frost costume saying hee-ho. Beautiful. And why is it green? Why does she have like green boots and gloves and a hat and stuff? And... <laughs> I was about to say why is this a Jack Frost themed casino, but it's because it's fucking... It's fucking SMT. I want a Jack Frost casino in like a new Persona game slash SMT game. One of those casinos that are in a bunch of other games where you could just use the game's currency to play slot machines and stuff. Like, I always- I, I spend a lot of time at those kinds of things in games. I just- I find it really fun to gamble, but not really. And also gamble in real life occasionally. I've won a couple hundred dollars a few times, that's pretty fun. It's always nice to have a little bit extra cash for a little bit. But, you know, it's only if you get lucky. That's the draw, honestly. Getting lucky feels fucking good, but then there's most of the rest of the time. Have fun at the movie theater. A great big virtual hee-ho to you! <laughs> Welcome to our 3D amusement center, the Virtual Club. This is your first time here, isn't it? Let me tell you about the Virtual Club, then. There are a variety of virtual reality attractions for you to enjoy here. Just pick the attraction you would like to try, then enjoy. So, what attractions do we have? First, there's the VR Art Museum. Not only can you enjoy the wonders of the paintings, but you can go inside. Next is our horror attraction, the VR Haunted Mansion. Can you escape the clutches of evil? Hee ho! The we also are have VR tours, love it. where you can travel the virtual world, and a VR park where you can enjoy a stroll in a maze. There's also Dungeon Q, a giant quiz game, and Love Club, a compatibility test to find your perfect meet. Why don't you give them a try? What would Can you we actually do, do all that stuff? Hold on. Which group would you like? Culture entertainment? Wait, what? By the way, the idea of something like this in real life would be so cool. Which attraction would you like? I imagine the the idea of the groups. I think the reason is because apparently they can only have four options for some, like, probably coding reason? Like, on a single page? Yeah, it looks like that's the case, so that would make sense. Like, a game engine reason, I would imagine, is why they have to do it this way. I need to see what the hell this is about. Because, you know, shipping exists, and Please I love- Please enjoy the love club, hope! Welcome to the Love Club VR Compatibility Determinator. This song is great. I have a question for you before we begin. Ready? What gender are you? I am a dude. Okay, now let's start the tests. You believe there is a god? Oh jeez. Religion! God be all about religion for some reason in these games, SMT. I'm curious. I'm just gonna go with my real ass self answers, just for funsies. No, I don't think so. I am very much. I would say I'm an atheist. If you follow religion, I think that's great, and I think there are very good reasons too, and that it's helpful both for like just like being happier and also just like having a code to follow. But I really feel like religion is really just a way that ancient people tried to explain the world and feel better, basically, about existential like dilemmas and things, and it can't be real. 
in my opinion. It's just something people had to invent back then to understand things. And nowadays it's being used for all sorts of, you know, throughout the centuries it's been used for everything from war to just making people rich and, and all sorts of things. And there's all sorts of people that follow religions but definitely don't follow the rules of said religion. It's obvious everywhere. And there's just, uh, at least like to some degree or another, right? Privately or not sometimes. And there's just like, a lot of pastors that are filthy rich off of this thing that's supposed to not be about greed. Like, this is, you know? Like, you know, all the TV pastors and stuff, you know? Yeah, I just think that religion is just another thing humans made up. I'm sorry, people that believe actual gods exist, but it just, it makes too much more sense to me that that's literally just the truth of religion than it actually being real. Again, I'm not many, meaning to offend people by that or, like, say that you shouldn't follow religion if you believe it and it works for you and... Yeah, that's great. Awesome. It just never worked for me. Now, granted, I'm biased, and I think, again, you know, it, it's sort of a rebellious thing, kind of, for me. Because I grew up being forced to go to church like a lot of people, and I fucking hated it. And those people tended to ostracize me, and I, like, even more than school people, because it was really hard for me to fit into such a strict place in general because of things that I couldn't really control. So there's there's a lot of animosity and let's be honest, like there's not a modicum of me that ever really believed in that stuff. Really? Well actually when I was a kid, but as I grew older, yeah. It did not take very long. <laughs> anyway. How do you relax when someone's always wait late? I don't mind. The main reason is because I'm late a lot because I have ADHD and it sucks to be the late person so I understand and I frankly at this point like honestly like I there have been times where I've been patient with people because I really want to hang out with them or whatever but you know it did not take me very much to get to a point where I never care if someone's late to something if someone like you know makes a plan and then flakes on it or cancels on it like there's so many valid reasons to do that that I, it would just be a waste of energy and just a mean thing to do to be all about that. So I try never to do that to anyone as best as I can. So I, I really don't mind, or at least I feel like you shouldn't mind. Though it's not very easy to never mind, but I usually don't, so. And I think you, you shouldn't mind, which is the real main reason I'm deciding this. I find this so interesting. This is in an SMT game randomly, so I love this. I guess it's like to get across the point of how nuanced this virtual world is. And I'm getting really invested in this. Just like poking around this place and all the little fun stuff there is to do. I've noticed they're probably using the normal dungeon gameplay to make this quiz game, which I find interesting. You should act on instinct. I... I would agree with generally, yeah. But, okay, like, okay, like, oh man, that's, that's so, I really feel like I should pick the first one. Because that is my knee-jerk reaction. Because I have always been more of an intuitive person than a thinky person. Although that definitely has been a detriment in some places, but I feel like love is something that, it has to be more intuitive than anything, I feel like. At least to me, it should be. That's right. Though I feel like a lot of times you should think things through. It's just doing that is a lot harder than acting on the instinct. And I feel like a lot of people overthink way too much. Raise his goddamn hand. So I feel like, yes, you should act on instinct. Not all the time, but a lot of the time. It's just, it's a balance-based thing. It, at the end of the day, I really don't think one or the other is better. It's a balance of the both that is the best. And I would say that with so many fucking things in life. Man. When a problem comes along... Hmm... I would say that I get by with help from my friends. <laughs> I usually ask people to help me almost first thing. And I know a lot of people struggle with that. I would not want to be that. Because actually there's times where I don't like to ask for help, but most of the time I do because it, it feels like it's necessary a lot of times, especially just with how I am. And I'm better and better at doing that more of the time. With certain things I don't want to, but then I get over myself and then I ask it and it's easier, amazing. Anyway. Which is the better date spot? Immediately amusement park or arcade. Just, you know, fun. 
Especially because I love games and amusement parks, so bam, there you go. Somewhere where you like and feel comfortable and the other person also feels comfortable going to is... Like, instead of like, oh, I want to press the person, what would both of you enjoy doing? That's like, that's what I would say. Now, I'm by no means a person that's been on a lot of dates, but I've, I have, I've been in relationships and I think I understand a little bit about this stuff because of that. So, you know, just advice that you should probably take with a grain of salt, but advice nonetheless. Uh, when you hear a word challenge, when you hear the word challenge, worked up. I used to be annoyed. I used to. But these days I'm embracing challenge. Why do you think I'm playing in a, a 90s game and let's playing in general? And also, like, trying to push the ability of my... I'm not lazily doing this either. I can't lazily do this. It feels wrong to just kind of do whatever. Um, so I'm doing my best to improve my commentary, my videos, all of that. And, all, and my gameplay and everything. And what I bring to the table in regards to my content. Um, and so, yeah, I've been really embracing challenge recently. And friends of mine help, have helped me come out of my, my shell and embrace that. And I think it's way better of a way to live than avoiding challenge, and I feel like a lot of people do that. And that's probably the main reason they're miserable. If they're miserable. And they probably are if they avoided challenge their whole life, because I used to do that, and I was miserable, and I don't anymore, and I'm not miserable. Hmm. I, I don't know if I was miserable. I always have found a lot of joy in my nerdy shit. I'm definitely miserable far less of the time since I embraced challenge, is what I really mean to say. Men should be very sociable, because I'd say the quiet type is a fucking problem. Well, okay, no. I'm... I would actually say, interestingly enough, even though I'm an in, in, even though I am an introvert, when I am finally able to get myself to be in front of people, I will talk your ear off. I, I'm probably pretty animated, and people seem to like being around me. It's interesting to note. So, yeah, yeah. Not all the time. But I don't think it's ever all the time. I used to be very conscious about that, but not anymore. But I would say that there's too many men that think that you should always be the quiet type. You should be stoic. You should, you should not show your emotions like my goddamn father. <laughs> Similarly to religion, part of the reason I am so animated, you know, um, like on these videos and in real life, this is what like this is me. I'm not putting anything on. This is how I exist. This is how I speak to anyone, basically. I also don't really feel like I wear as many masks as a lot of people do for talking to different people and stuff in general, because I don't think that's a good idea. But anyway, this girl is the perfect match for some- oh my god. Holy shit. This is blowing my mind, because remember when earlier that I saw her and I was like, oh my god, yes. I <laughs> that's amazing. Okay. The developers were on to something when they made this. Your lightheartedness and free spirit make life awesome. Hell yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. I think we should all embrace something like that. Our own version of that. Pushing your lives to the limit will help you two get, get along great. Okay, wow. Yeah, if you could actually date the girls in some capacity, please. Take the lead and show her a good time. Okay, also that's creepy. Does the game know that I know her? That's fucking scary. Like, think about that. We just popped into this game. And, like... Like, the real-life implications of that are terrifying. The game just showed me a a girl that I know. I know, like... Uh, wait, no, hold on. Isn't that his sister? Oh, fuck, never mind. Oh, God. I'm sorry that I said all that. I forgot she was his sister. Wasn't she? Whoops. But, yes, I really like her as a character. Never mind, I don't want to date a sister, I, I don't like incest, I never have. It's weird that it's such a thing. If, she, if we can date her, I probably won't anyway, because no, incest, no. She is a sister, right? I think I remember that. Anyway, that's a lot of things to just poke through. Do I really want to right now? Is it necessary? Uh, I guess I could. I, I feel like I probably should just in case there's something there. And also just like thinking of all the- of like if this all was real and all the other stuff and how it works is pretty cool. I've been to the boutique. Just making sure there's no other doors. 
and there does not seem to be. And again, I'm not moving away from this street until I know I've done, gone everywhere. Okay, so because I can't do the casino stuff yet, or possibly ever, because I'm hacked, and I bet that's the reason why we're not registered. So I'll just go in order, basically, and do everything except for the Love Club, which I just did. This attraction lets you enjoy tours of various famed sightseeing spots from around the world. Oh! <laughs> I love the way she's hee-hawing. It'll open with the public launch of Paradigm X. Sorry, VR Tours is brought to you by a partnership with Leon Automotive. Ho! Which attraction <laughs> would you like? <laughs> I love that! I love her hose. Ho! By the way, before I forget, I'm pretty sure this woman is Kawakami in Persona 5. Let me go look up her IMDB because I really like doing this. Yes, she is indeed Michelle Ruff, who is Kawakami in Persona 5, Yukari in Persona 3, among other things. I, I think I'll keep it to Atlas games mostly, but I really like it for all of my Atlas playthroughs to see just how many common Atlas roles there all are. Because I'm starting to really see the connections the more of these games I play, especially on the channel where I specifically go look up the IMDb's of these characters, and I'm like, whoa! But I have a feeling that the tours would not be open. I do wonder how all this plays into it, and when, like, what happens to this place when it becomes a dungeon, I guess? Hmm, I'm really wondering about all that. Enjoy your stay at the VR Art Museum. Hello? This is very spooky sounding for a place that isn't supposed to be unsettling yet. I have this feeling it's supposed to... This is literally going to become the dungeon. Somehow. And like there's going to be demons around here and stuff. And I have a feeling like... The main reason I think that is A, I, this is a big open area. Like we're going to fight in here later. Get, mark my words. I would be amazed if that's not the case. I can't seem to like look at any of the paintings. I mean, well, you can enter them, apparently. Oh, is this literally going to be the whole-ass dungeon? I can see that. If every painting is something... Oh, stairway. Well, there's two floors. This is a ridiculously big place. Well, I have a thousand yen to spend. I don't think I've actually found a way to even spend money here yet. Yeah, I can't seem to activate any of these posters. Yeah, you can go sideways this way and all that. Like a lot of dungeon crawlers. Welcome to the VR Hello. Art Museum. Here you can oh my God! Paintings in a relaxing environment that only virtual reality can. Provide. I think she is also Soon, Michelle Ruff. We will be implementing a feature that will allow our guests to enter into the paintings themselves. Enjoy your. No stay. wait, hold on. No, that's Chie. That's fucking. No, I'm pretty sure that's actually. Uh, what's her name? God, what's her name? Aaron Fitzgerald. There we go. I remembered. It took a little while, but I remembered. And hey, it didn't take a little while for you guys because of the magic of editing. Wow! But it took like a minute for me to remember her name in real life. Uh, in real time, I suppose, is the best way maybe to say that. Or a better way than real life. Especially because I would say that digital things are like... Saying that online friends aren't real friends or like... Oh, in real life, in IRL, you know, like outside of the game, like... Your time spent on a computer is still your real life. Like, what does that even mean? I don't- I've never liked that, especially because so much of my life has been on the internet, and I'd ha I wouldn't have it any other way, frankly. So, I, it's always rubbed me the wrong way. I IRL. VR Fanatic. Of course, if VR Fanatic would be here. When we're able to enter paintings, I want to enter the one back here. I think there are fairies in that painting. Beautiful winged little girls. Don't you think so, too? I can't wait to go inside. I'll bet it'll be so magical. God, this place is a maze already. Am I gonna get lost before the game even starts? This is, doesn't bode well for my future playing this game. I think that's gonna be a big dungeon we have to do stuff in later. No, you know what? I really want to familiarize myself with the layout. Okay, yeah, this is just a big chamber. And there's probably people around. And I wish there was any indicator of where the people are. Her again, yeah. Okay, okay so yeah, she's on this tile, right? Like, no matter what way you face, she'll just appear. I'm starting to see that. Ghost water- wait, you can actually enter this one? No? Okay, but I'm, I have a feeling you're gonna be able to later. Is that the one she's talking about? Maybe. I think so, because she was right here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's gonna be a dungeon-y thing later, I guess. It's quiet and spacious here. I can relax and view the paintings in peace. 
It's so much better than real art museums. Is there another enterable one? I think it might be, or maybe not. Maybe that's the only enterable one later, but I guess you can't do that yet. I have a feeling you're gonna be able to enter this later, or this is gonna be a big, like, dungeon later. Like, why else would it be like this? There's another one. I heard we'll eventually be able to go into the paintings. Virtual reality is so much better than real life. Oof, man. That's depressing to hear, but also understandable. Ay. Because, you know, honestly, I think all the time, man, video games are better than real life. I really do. Why would you not think that, frankly? I don't really feel like I think that as much as other people do. I still have a lot of things that I enjoy in real life. I just kind of feel like some people don't think there's anything, which is sad. I think that girl might be one of them. Oof, man. Depression! Y'all always gotta brace yourself for some depression when playing an Atlas game. I've noticed this. Especially SMT, the atmosphere is so oppressive in these games in general. Like, the music's so creepy in here. This place is not a dungeon yet, but I have, I have a feeling it will be, and that's why the music's creepy. But yeah, this place is, like, disturbing. Just with the music alone. This is some fucking dread shit. Like, what the fuck? Again, it's so weird, because th there's excited people going, Oh man, I want to enter the paintings. I'm just looking at art and chilling. The music's like, this place should not be a place you're enjoying. You should run away from here. Mister, do you know how to play chess? I do. Have you seen that sweet chess painting over there? Is that also enterable? Yes. Chess by window. Ah, lovely. Door won't open. Okay, yeah, this is like, this is a dungeon for late. This is like, I don't know why, but you're gonna have to go through here and there's gonna be demons in here. Mark my words. Or else, why would this place be so expansive and have so many unopenable doors and have creepy-ass music? You know that bizarre painting back there? I hear you can already enter it. Wait, what? Staring at it, it does feel like I'm being pulled in. I want to try it out, but I'm also scared that I won't be able to come back out. Oh boy. Uh, strange area. Apparently not. Unless the A button is not the one I used to enter. I think it, it should be. I can't actually enter it, I don't think. Unless that's not the one she's talking about. Oh boy. I'll have to get used to navigating these places, obviously. Okay, it looks like the only enterable ones are the ones at the ends of big hallways. Okay, this is something. I don't think there's anything else in here. If there is, whoops, I missed it. I'll have to get used to navigating this game first. It'll take a bit. Oh yeah, wait. I, we can't do casino things yet. Alright, so I think... Have I done all the occulture so far? Uh, tours... No, I have not done the Haunted Mansion. Oh boy, if I thought the Mart Museum was creepy... Oh, never mind, it's not a thing yet. Oof. Ooh, that's a bullet. <laughs> oh boy. I bet all these places are gonna be dungeons for some reason. That's what I'm thinking. Or else, why would there be all this explorable area? I'm pretty sure... Let me make sure. Which attraction? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I've done all those. Which group would you like? We are park. Enjoy your stay in the VR park. Oh, I almost forgot. Whoops. That skipped. Okay. Uh, hold on. Can I open a fucking menu here? No, I don't think I can for some reason. I, I don't know what that's about. Welcome to the VR park. A place for everyone to relax and have fun. Please enjoy your time here. Ah, uh, yes. We're currently growing a symbolic tree in the center of the VR park. Do you know about it? I see. Well, let me tell you about it. Our symbolic tree, the Omphalos, is growing in the middle of the VR park. Omphalos grows by gathering all the wishes of the people who visit the park. So you see, we're encouraging users to visit Omph Omphalos and make wishes. What would you wish for? That's a little bit spooky, because I have a feeling that they have some ulterior motive for that, but I will go and do that. Old man, uh... He is creepy face. And what's that on his forehead? Are those scars or some kind of symbol? Being surrounded by all this- Whoops! Auto scroll. I really don't like that. I'd rather advance it at my own pace and I swear I turned off auto scroll. I guess not. Hey, you. Can I just- Can I just ramble at you for a while? I just have a sudden urge to get some things on my chest. Well, how about it? Uh, sure. Thank you, young man. You see, to tell you the truth, I really didn't want to move to this city personal reasons forced me to close my family business, and I didn't have a choice. I'm an office custodian now. My son refused to carry on my business, so I had a feeling it would come to this sooner or later. I dreamed that one day my son will rethink his ways, come back to take over the store, we'll be all be a family again. Thank you for listening to my story. 
If only my son was more like you. Well, he's not gonna change. Just because I, I would listen to you, old man, because I'm a decent person, does not mean I would, like, rather be... F I would just take on what you want me to for a living. I think kids should always have a choice. And a lot of kids, their parents have these ultimatums of, you should do this. I'm really grateful that my parents never really did that. Did you hear this? When the park is finished, it's gonna be huge! What if I get lost? Oh, pff, kid, if you're not already getting lost, you're amazing, because damn. So, sorry, you're gonna get lost. There's no way you're not. Like, this place is oof. This place is a PS1 dungeon crawler, so you're gonna get lost. <laughs> ah, this is so relaxing. It's so quiet and peaceful. It's also making me kind of sleepy. I wish I could just stay here every day and not go oof to work and I'm so tired. Uh, yeah, there's, I almost guarantee you, the company that made this game is trying to control people. That's like a very common plot point in these kinds of games, so I almost guarantee you that. Once Paradigm X goes public, okay, so not yet, I guess. When Fallouts will be accessible to all users, I can hardly wait. I have a feeling the wishes are like, it's like you get the people's wishes and then you can control them or alter them or something. I almost guarantee you it's something like, there's something written on the door. The area ahead is undergoing maintenance and is currently off limits. That's probably the Umphalos area. Okay. Again, this is this is gonna be a dungeon later. There's like no way. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in there. If so, I'll either find out later or I won't. <laughs> and by the way, if you have advice going, I'll probably already be pretty far ahead of that by the time I upload the video. So advice is, you know, it's okay. You can you can go ahead and say things. Try not to spoil story things. But if you just want to do gameplay advice, I don't consider that spoilers, so go ahead. But I may be- it may be too late for me. But I'll always try to apply things that I feel like are good for me to apply, basically. I'll use discretion, but feel free, and I will thank you if I use your advice, by the by. Personally, like, in the video, I'll be like, hey, this user said bloody blue, thank you. Or, if it's a lot of people, a lot of y'all said bloody blue, as well, they'll probably something like that. Okay, whoops, I- I don't like talking over characters, but I love talking a lot, and so I, I keep- I get carried away by talking, and then I don't realize characters are saying things. And it's already too late by the time I'm done talking, and I did not really comprehend what she said. But I think she just said, oh wow, this place is cool. Or it's like, wow, look at that ahead, or something. Oh well. <laughs> I'm not gonna comprehend everything in its mother. In fact, if anyone comprehends everything that they see in a video game, I'm, I'm, I'd be surprised. Because there's so much in video games. And at this point, I'm just like, okay, I'm not going to comprehend or list or hear or understand everything in the game. The first time through or the second time through or whatever, that's cool. That's part of why games are so awesome, I think. It's because there's always more to see and do and explore and understand and realize. Okay, so the forums are both accessible by the See Other Forums button here and also in their own places. Interesting. I really like the look of her. I have a feeling she's an important character. Let's see, this pet shop is this way and the fortune teller's that way. Or she might just be a very fashionable woman and I really like her. Oh, speaking of women that are my type, listen, punk chicks, yes, short hair, yes. Mm. I thought the Sunset Forum would be all f full of kids, but all the people there were grown-ups. People here don't look like what they really look like in real life, so I made myself look different too. But are you a male or a female? Please be an actual woman. God, I, 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 I hope she's an actual woman at least, and that you should actually dress like that in real life, please. You will get people like me, although I don't know if you want that. But hey, I'm gonna assume people might want me, because I used to assume that I was unlovable. But then some girl literally told me, I had a crush on you, you're bullshitting. And then I was like, okay, okay, okay. I just, at this point, I try not to assume that, because A, that sucks to be in that mental space, and B, it's probably not actually true that no one actually had any interest in you ever. Like, honestly, I don't think that's actually a thing that is very common. My virtual pet is cute. I bought it at the pet shop, at that pet shop. Again, like, it's, it's very Japanese to Englishy when people say, my virtual pet is cute. for today is... Uncertain luck. You will have These fun accents are fun. Your lucky card I guess. is silver. For extra luck today, be kind <laughs> to animals. I'm always kind to animals. Yeah, you it's extra lost. luck. Come visit this old man. I shall tell you your fortune. 
I'm always kind to animals. My cats basically rule me. I'm sure most cat owners would understand. Because I'm pretty sure most cat owners are like that. <laughs> My dad isn't, but I am. Okay, you talk to people and then you go forward. Welcome to the pet shop. I'm Roku Goro, the owner. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is a digital pet shop and I sell digital pets. You see all these little guys here? They're called Mechi. Aren't they adorable? Yes. Unfortunately, all of these are reserved for other customers. Every single one. Holy crap. So I don't have any I can sell you right now. Yeah, of course something like that would go real fast in a game like this. It's amazing that, like, they even have a stock, like, in real life. Yeah, no, yeah. This is a 90s conception of virtual anything. That's for sure. God, man. Especially virtual shopping. You can tell how dated this game is, even if you never looked at it and just knew about that dialogue. Air vision? Well, first of all, I don't think I've actually gone into every building. Okay, I've gone into the fortune teller. It makes sense that all the people in Sunset Forum are adults, because it literally, the tagline for it is relive your, your youth or something. These people are just being nostalgic, or like, I'm sure there's some people that literally are going there just to try to perv over like actual young girls or groom them or something. Uh, yeah. Good evening. This is Paradigm X News. Days ago, a party was held to celebrate the content completion of Paradigm X's development. Vice Minister Nishi head of the Amami City Model City Project was there and spoke about what more is to come. Every home in Amami City now has a free computer connected to the citywide network installed by Alcom. Being able to celebrate Paradigm X's completion with all of you is a momentous honor and a pleasure. It has been five years since our project began. And now, Amami City has grown to become the envy of the entire world. And I'm totally not the villain. Like, look what at me. I'm po I can't possibly be evil. Even though I look like a motherfucking classical world. vampire. Think of the citizen IDs registered to you as proof of this. We in Algonsoft promise you all a life of light and convenience. I think what he actually promises you is control After Mr. over Mr. you by him. Mr. Karokura, director of Algonsoft, the developers of Paradigm X spoke. The following was taken from his comments on the completion of Paradigm X. I can't be giving out details before the official launch, <laughs> but uh, it is perfect. Some of our beta testers may be viewing this broadcast in Paradigm X itself. Like me. Afterwards, the two shook hands and promised to expend all efforts to further develop this city. And by that I mean develop their evil plans. Definitely have a future to look forward to. I don't know about that, man. Because this is an SMT game and they're depressing. And usually they're about the world ending. So I don't know about that, man. I have not done Dungeon Q, have I? I don't think so yet. Okay, let's give the VR quiz Dungeon Q a try. He ho Welcome to Dungeon Q. The rules are simple. Go to the circle if you think the statement is correct, and the X if not. There are five questions total. Miss a single one and you're out. Oh boy, now good luck. I wonder what these questions are going to be about. Question one. Chameleons can change colors even when blindfolded? Interesting. Hmm. So like they can't see the colors around them, but they can change... That's interesting if that's true. I'm gonna say no. If so, that's that's another one of those amazing facts of nature that blow my goddamn mind. Wow, that's amazing. Too bad. I'll be trying to mind it. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out. I really want to, just for funsy. A great big birch well with which it so it looks like this beginning section is introducing you to just all the technological feats and and hooky things that are in this virtual world, and then it's probably gonna show the sinister side of it or the demon thing or whatever. It's something that's gonna happen to all the people that are currently in it or something. Wait, what? Oh god, it's a different question. Oh god, shit, it isn't, is it? I don't think so. No, is it? No, I think so. Is it? Fuck. 
I'm sorry, my Australian friends. I have several Australian friends. I'm sorry. Uh, whoops. Dumb American, you know? We don't know shit about the world. It's true. <laughs> First Japanese man to score. Oh, God. Fuck this. Fuck it. I don't want to be... I don't want to show how stupid I am. Oh, I have to. I immediately am not having fun, so fuck this. I don't think it actually gives you anything. Although, if it does... Uh... I'm not gonna look these up, by the way. That feels just wrong. First Japanese man to score a goal in the World Cup was Hidetoshi Nakata. No? Oh god, let me get- Okay, yay, I did it! <laughs> okay, please give me something I actually know the answer to. In tennis, a ball that deflects off the p net post and lands inbounds is still in play. It's like having me sports questions, I'm a nerd. Ah! <laughs> no, I'm pretty- I'm actually pretty sure I know that one. Wait. Deflects off the net and lands inbounds. I don't think so. Ah, fuck. Fuck it. Because <laughs> I'm not looking them up online. And I'm dumb. Ugh. Actually, wait, no. Hmm. Actually, wait, I don't know. We'll say. But either way, um, I'm pretty sure I can just go back out now? Freaking cowbells, man. That is such a 90s music thing. And the frickin' synths. Man, the 90s were a time, man. The time that I was born, even. Amazing. Oh god! There's the SMT spoopiness that I was expecting. Oh god! Oh Jesus! Wait a minute. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh Christ. Oh no. Are we just getting soul snatched? Oh god. Through the computer? Oh no, it's it's literally just a computer game. I thought it was literally like a super ultra virtual reality. Durgan. Durgan. Okay, so this guy, this coyote saved me. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Why are you helping me and who are you? So, Kina. Hmm. Wasn't he the one that did something? Yep, of course the world's ending, because it's an SMT game! <laughs> To the past? Theater plays something. Vision Quest 1, Alma Capture? I wasn't expecting, like, the past to come into this, so why would he be showing us this?
Oh yeah, I see this this car. Wait, hold on. Are you sure this is the past? That seems like a very high tech car to me. A gun. Wait, it's it's the. Wait, what does that mean? Completed lives on this one. Wait, is that the person that had the gun? Ah, it's you. Algon they ended Ernest. up in that pawn shop. I'm on my way there right now. The gun computer, gun type PC. Society's my enemy too. Think of it this way: I'm doing your job while I'm at it. Still, it's an odd assignment. You just want me to copy the data from a particular terminal in the building into this comp, one program. Hmm. That's it. Her, whatever. Oh, I'm guessing the her is, uh, terminal is Nemissa. It? The computer room. And you're sure that's the only one the data you need is on, right? All right, I'm on my way. Ooh, I like that cinematic shot of the cigarette being thrown out the window. Also, smoking characters are cool. Why do you think there's so many of them? Uh, don't smoke in real life, but smoking is cool in fiction, okay? <laughs> it's not in real life, but it is in fiction. And also, smoking is fucking hot to me if it's women. That's just me, though. Me and my fucking badass chick fetish. That's ridiculous. I didn't think I'd be able to waltz right in like this. So oh, man. PS1 VoIP music? Aw, oh, fucking nostalgia, dude. I'm getting some spikes on the enemy's sonar. Bess, puts linen sheet. Yeah, linen sheet. I recognize some of those. I'm getting demons loose in the building. I've got a really bad feeling about this. I should hurry. Okay, so we're literally playing the game, I guess, as this dude who's, I guess, probably making Nemissa happen or something like that? What, is, what does this terminal have? Why is Nemissa... I guess Nemissa's on the gun type. This is so interesting. And who is he working for? Who the fuck is Keenob? Is he maybe this guy's soul or someone else's soul? Oh, hi, hello. Oh god, no no combat tutorial. We're just going in there. Okay. Oh man, PS1 RPGs. Oh boy, okay. Fight, talk, oh yep. Negotiation. Classic SMT thing. Jockey. I, when to go, yeah. I mean, he's the, of the jockey, like, demon type, right? Come. Analyze and config. I'll analyze first. Do I want to fight for... No, I, I want... I think you want to... I think I analyzed it, yeah. Talk? Me want ask summoner. What fun to destroy! Buildings! Roar! So wasteful! Oh no. Me mad! Me no talk with you. Well, fuck. I'm just gonna guess. I'm not gonna look that shit up either. This is gonna be very blind and very derpy until I figure out what to do. Just, you know, for funsy. I'm gonna be very blind on this, and I'm gonna try not to look up very much and see what happens with that. But if I get really frustrated and stuck, then I will look things up. But, till then? So he just has demons. Huh. How does he know about them? This is very... Mm. Go. Command. So I can just have them auto-battle, I guess, or... Diorama. Okay, they have Diorama. Extra. Interesting. Special actions. This is a very different system for Persona. Odd dance causes confusion. A big roundhouse. Uh, um, row from right. Back. Okay. Row from right. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Powerful kick using centrifugal force. I have a feeling it's some kind of AoE. And by the way, I always find turn-based fun. And the reason I, I felt a need to say that was I've seen a lot of videos lately on YouTube with titles like, are turn-based games outdated? And my brain immediately goes, no, I find them fun still. What are you smoking? It's, it's a fucking type of game that some people are gonna like and some people aren't. I would say that the basis of game design of any genre that has been even remotely successful is not outdated, but it can always be improved upon. And I think that that's generally something most people agree with. Also, look at what Lazarus makes nowadays. They still make turn-based games, and they do well. So what the fuck is that person smoking? The people, specific, like, plural, that I've made videos like that. 
watching. I never watch those because I that's not something I even want to entertain the bullshittery about. Like I will always find turn-based games awesome and fun, so I have no reason to even entertain that kind of bullshit. Anyway, by the way, this music is fittingly very spoke. A sword and gun. There's gun attacks. This is all the way back in like these older ones. Actually, I have been aware of that. I'll just attack with. Sword gun item, sword gun summon. I have no demons except the ones that are around me. The three I've got. That that swirly background, man. That is that used to be every RPG. Uh, medicine bead, balm of life, napalm balm. Make sure nafata and metallic soaps. I guess it just does a lot of AOE damage. Cool that we have grenades basically. So we got medicine. Restores HP, fully restores HP, and some bombs of life which revive. Cool. Obviously, don't use those unless I need them. That's like the duh thing. If you're low health, then use them. Especially if it's like more of a dire situation, and try to conserve them as best you can. That's my general policy of that stuff. I think that's generally the kind of thing most people will adopt, at least something similar. Uh, sometimes more extreme than that, but yeah. Move. Change party formation. Okay, so this probably has the whole frontline backline thing. I would have figured that, yeah, because it's got the classic dungeon crawler six th people thing and the frontline backline thing. That's probably why you can change the party formation. There's probably some certain things you can't use in the frontline or backline. Probably mostly the backline, but also the frontline. I haven't played a lot of these dungeon crawlers. I don't think I've really ever completed one, but I've played enough of them. Item, move, and guard, and he can't use spells because he's a human being, not a demon. Okay. So, SWAT. I wonder if there's uh, uh, limited ammo in this game, but guns do more damage. Kind of like Persona 5, but I bet that it's like... I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'd have to figure out how to work. But yeah, this is definitely an older game because it has thrown you in with less tutorials than games these days always give you. Which, frankly, part of me likes that. Part of me would rather get the tutorials. So I don't really know how I feel about that, but I kind of like being playing a game once in a while like this that I have to think to understand anything and try out things. I like doing that once in a while, but I, I also really like the more informational and actually explaining the, the game mechanics of the video game nature of recent games. Type dumb. Hey, don't insult your loyalty. One, two, three, four, five. What does that mean? I bet loyalty is a, a mechanic and a skill you have to do something with, right? I guess command to attack. Why would you just let them go? I mean, I could do that. Uh, but that's probably basically what the... Oh, she can't... Okay, so you can't attack if you're not in the front row. Okay. So I'll have her do... Ah, uh, classic Mabufo. So I, I do know what most of these spells do, generally. But, um, yep, yeah, Frigid Air can freeze your foes. Power 14 row. Or 14 row. Row means front row or back row, right? So it, it. Okay, I'm starting to get the picture of what this stuff does. Thinking in more of a dungeon crawler sense, I'm getting it. Yeah, that's the force element that is in. Uh, I, I've played SMT4, and that's why I'm familiar with Zan. I didn't, didn't play it through, I've played the first few hours of it. Okay, another thing I want to do on the channel at some point. Zan, begin! Like, do you queue up all your actions and then they just happen? Instead of, it, like, you know, it going by turn like like other games? Like most other turn-based games? Interesting. Interesting how also the combat music is not immediate. Ooh, I like it. Yeah, this shit brings me back, man. Anyone that grew up in the 90s and played video games, man, this stuff will just fucking nostalgia destroy you. And I love it. Danny. Ooh, this, this like sudden synth there is great. Or this flute or something? Oh, what is that instrument? I feel like I should know what that is, but I don't. I think it's just like a synth key thing, but that's it's going crazy in the back and doing a very like. I, I want to I want to call it a jazzy solo because I'm just gonna get back to this very heavy metal feeling right here. Dan and the drum, dan. That's like a death metal riff right there. Oh, and the drums, epic. Okay. Can I, uh, I think he's just gonna be pissed all, all match. 
me mad. Me no talk. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. So you get one try, I guess. What happens if I just do go, actually? We shall see. Gun! Chest that out, too. Let's have them all go. Let's see what that does. Hey, nice. Ooh, I like that uh, finisher. Danny. Okay, yeah, just random encounters, so I've got to brace myself for that. I'll just do sword and go for the moment. Oh god. Christ. Okay, doesn't Bess have Medea? Uh, Dior Diorama. Yeah, do that on yourself. Wait. Oh, he can slash them both with the sword. Yeah, roll from right. Oh, from right! Roll from right! Okay, so it starts at the right. Okay. I wonder why that's important. I wonder why the direction is important. Does it check to hit each creature? Maybe that's why it's important. Let's just have them keep going. I'm not sure what they've been doing. I think they've been casting spells, so I'd rather direct command them in general. A gun does one thing, but it probably does more damage than sword. I think it. I think you don't have ammo, and it's just a single attack that probably does more damage than the sword. And the sword is for AoE. That seems to be what that is. By the way, again, kind of interesting. Oh yeah, I haven't looked at the special axes for everyone, but I probably won't use that mostly. Do I keep having her use Zan or not? I mean, it's not like she has a low SP or MP, but I should probably conserve that more than not. I probably shouldn't always have her do every anything, because... I'm gonna keep her in the back. Just because she needs to be Oh wait, hold on, I'm not I'm not talking. I wanna figure out how to negotiate it all. Although I've heard um from Let's Players that uh well one particular let's play, Big Clingy by the way. In his current Persona 5 let's play, he actually makes a I don't remember what the context was, but he does say that, oh yeah, the context was explaining how negotiation works in Persona 5, but he said that a lot of the older ST games, it was really just guesswork, where in 5 it's it's more of a concrete system. You're not going to kill me, are you? You wouldn't do a thing like that. Wait, hold on. Are we fucking... Is this where we work and we work with demons? What does that mean? Well, that's a bit spooky and does not bode well, I feel like. I bet this is the corporation that made Paradigm X 2. I almost guarantee you. And it's trying to control people, or devour all of their souls for some reason through this. Or maybe it's not intended to do this, but some other force made that happen? Interesting how... Hmm. Apparently we are killing these things for some reason, but it's interesting how... I don't know who he's t he was talking with on the phone, but he doesn't know about Nemissa, I think. And I think Nemissa's in the, uh... Gun type PC. Oh, I should just have her. Oh wow, you have to have them do things. You can't just. Oh no, they. Wait, hold on. Wait, she can't guard. So I have to make. I have to have her go command if I don't want to. Want her to do a skill. That's fucking weird. Is there? Okay. It's. Why would there not be a wait option? Because limited MP is a thing. What if they keep using spells, or maybe they'll just attack? I don't know. We'll see. If that becomes an issue, well, I guess it'll be something I'll have to keep in mind, huh? That seems like bad game design if that works the way I think it does, but oh well. Okay. I want to actually advance forward. I'm pretty sure that's where I came from and I need to go here. And I think there's not going to be stuff to check in the walls. I hope not. Because that's the other thing about these games that I'm not the fondest of is the fact that oftentimes you need to find stuff in places and there's going to be random encounters in the way all the time. 2F because I just left 1F, I do believe. Algon, yeah. We're in Algon headquarters and we work for Algon and demons work for Algon. That does not bode well. Usually demons aren't like already in the real world doing stuff before SMT games happen, right? So that's a bit spooky. And in this world, that seems to already be a thing. Case. I feel someone's presence. I will 
Hello. Oh yes, save point. Yeah. I... You know, who are you and what are you doing and why are you making me relive this? What? Is the game made up of all these memories? I really wonder. Save Durgan. Either way, this game is intriguing me and I think it's gonna really just grab me by the balls. It already kind of has. Hoip, but, well, we've I played for a good bit here, so I'm ending this episode here. So I hope y'all have lovely days. I will see you in my next episode. Like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to, and I will see y'all in my next one.